back with video number three and uh, I'm actually just out here it's about to rain so I just wanted to film this quick video to show you something that's actually kind of cool for me um, this is the court I grew up on and uh, if you look back there it's uh, my old school that uh, it goes you know from K to 8 so I went here I think I came here in grade 4 and uh, stayed until grade 8 and literally every single day I was out here on this basketball court cutting my teeth on some of these training methods that we're talking to you about today or you know kind of stupid training methods back then but uh, regardless this is how I got my start and as you can see all the rims are kind of uh, bent down now it's all like <laughs> I think this room's probably nine feet tall right now but uh, either way it was uh, a little bit nicer back in the day but I just wanted to show this to you because it's very, very uh, close to me. It kind of brings back memories for me spending hours and hours out here. Probably wasn't too good for the hip on the cement to do that, but uh, either way, this is, uh, this is where I grew up. But uh, in any case, today I want to talk to you about something that uh, is really the number one thing that holds most shooters back. As soon as you've gotten to that level of being a shooter, um, this is how you get to that next level and avoid being shut down like most shooters are because as we know pure shooters who can only just knock down shots you know when they're open and in practice and things like that those types of players are dead in today's game they're completely dead you have to become very prolific and be able to create space at will on even the toughest defenders and really knock down shots on those defenders. actually becoming a prolific shooter is a really really important concept that I think that I personally need to teach you because it's something that I went through as you know as a player so you know I was at this school I've shooting hours and hours shots after shot after shot every single day and I was I was a pretty good shooter okay I could knock down shots when I was open so um, I went to high school and obviously a different school than this but I went to high school in grade 9 I played on the junior team the junior varsity and I moved up in grade 10 and played early um, because the coach felt that I was a good shooter, so he wanted to bring me up and play me at, on the senior level team in grade 10. So I moved up to that team, and I still remember, I got uh, the starting spot for the first game, which was awesome, but uh, on the very first play, I'm thinking, you know, this is the same as the junior team, right? So <laughs> I'm coming off, and there was a player, I'm not going to name his name because I'm good friends with him now, but uh, he plays at a, uni at a local university near me, but... Anyway, so I come off the top and I dribble off this screen and he hedges and he's a really quick guard. So he hedges and just strips me, like flat out strips me. I, I had no handle at the time. I couldn't create any space. Um, I was just a shooter, right? I had no business dribbling the ball in a senior level game. So strips me, goes down to the other end, layup. Anybody knows how embarrassing that is if it happens to them. It's the worst feeling ever, especially when you're that nervous to get the starting spot and senior, grade 10, um, everybody watching, expecting big things, and, you know, I blew it. So the coach sits me down for the rest of the quarter um, and basically told me to stand in the corner, okay? This is, like, agonizing after spending hours and hours shooting. Um, he wants me to go and stand in the corner, and that's basically what I did for the rest of the season. I was just a shooter. I was pretty much a useless player on the floor, couldn't guard, couldn't create space, couldn't create shots, and be a scorer, okay? So the biggest change that I made later on was becoming prolific. Being able to create space, like we said, have a quick release, unlimited range, all those kind of, like, really dominant scoring tools that you have to have if you're going to become a prolific shooter. So I want to teach you um, two big things in this video today. Quick release and the ability to create space off the dribble. And I'm going to hook you up with the, the key components to each of these things in this video. And uh, we'll get more in depth within the actual prolific shooting training system, which you'll be able to get on August 17th. But until that time, I want to still give you these keys because they will change your game. Okay, so I have a video presentation for you. It's going to go over uh, the two main factors that you've probably never heard of in uh, developing your quick release because I say you probably never heard of them because I kind of have my own way of teaching it that's individual to uh, what I've figured out and that actually uh, works best for players. So I'm going to teach you that step-by-step -step process and I'm also going to give you two done-for-you completely step-by-step -step scoring moves that you can use off the dribble on the perimeter to just make defenders look silly on the court. Okay, so let's get into that video presentation right now and uh, I'll show you those two.